it is quite difficult to identify a specific star's exact characteristics. They come in various shapes and sizes. Some are big, some are little, some zip, while others creep. There are countless examples of things in the universe that defy logic. As far as celestial bodies go, the sun is quite a dull one. For now, our middle-aged sun is content with its current rather diminutive size. However, in just a few hundred million years, the sun will grow to the size of a red giant and will continue to shed its outer layers until it is reduced to a smoldering white dwarf surrounded by a stunning planetary nebula of glowing gas. But luckily enough for us, we don't actually have to wait this long to witness these events happen with our own star, and that's because millions of events like this are happening all around us at all times. We just have to look in the right direction to spot them. In this video, we're going to take a look at the most unique and terrifying stars in the universe. The largest known star in the universe, UY Scuti. Astronomers, like their comic book counterparts, occasionally find that prefixing something with the word super clarifies its status as truly extraordinary. Like Superman, UY Scuti, the largest known star in the universe, belongs to the category of supergiant stars. Surprisingly enough, UY Scuti has already lost a significant amount of weight. Hypergiants can grow to a size more than 1,000 times greater than the Sun. However, UY Scuti, which is located in the constellation Scutum, is almost 1,700 times wider than the Sun. This star was initially surveyed by astronomers at the Bonn Observatory in Germany in 1860. The brightness of UY Scuti fluctuates over a 740-day period, which led scientists to reclassify it as an unstable variable star. Intrinsic variables like UY Scuti, on the other hand, undergo physical changes like pulsations. When it comes to UY Scuti, its brightness fluctuates due to its erratic growth, making it difficult to get an accurate assessment of its circumference. As with any red supergiant, UY Scuti's existence will come to an end in a spectacular fashion as will Betelgeuse. After the helium fuel in its core is depleted, it will violently forge more and heavier materials. And as long as UY Scuti does not discharge too much mass throughout its remaining life, it will eventually begin to produce iron. When a star forces two iron nuclei together, it doesn't produce any energy like it does when it combines lighter elements. Instead, it drains energy from the surrounding environment. Because of this, the star experiences a runaway collapse where it can no longer maintain itself against its own gravitational pull. What's the end result? A powerful core collapse type 2 supernova that will make UY Scuti visible to the naked eye from Earth for the first time. The most massive star, RMC 136A1. It's possible to be deceived by one's appearance, because a star has a specific size, it does not necessarily have the same mass. If you're looking for an example, look no further than RMC 136A1, the most massive star in the known universe, which crams a lot of mass into a remarkably small package. Despite being more than 300 times as massive as our Sun, this star is only 30 times as wide. It is one of the many blazing stars ionizing the gas in NGC 2070, which is located in the Milky Way's largest satellite galaxy, the Large Magellanic Cloud. The Tarantula Nebula is our neighborhood's brightest star-forming region, and this massive open star cluster is nestled right in the middle of it. More than 200 stars in the immediate vicinity, all of which are bright and massive, are found in a cluster called RMC 136, thanks to Hubble Space Telescope observations. However, this star is the most prominent of these beacons in terms of visibility. In addition to being the most massive star, it is also the most brilliant of them all. 
Even though the precise age is still unknown, a 2016 study found that it could be as young as a few hundred thousand to a million years old, which means that hydrogen is still burning in its core. Furthermore, it is extremely hot, contains a lot of heavy elements, and has extremely strong stellar winds blowing off its outer layers because it is a rare wolf rayet star. These stellar winds are so powerful, reaching a velocity of around 5.8 million miles per hour, that by the end of its life, the star is expected to expel enough gas to end up weighing just over 50 solar masses. However, that's still plenty big enough to produce an astounding supernova. After all, the progenitor of supernova 1987A, also located in the Large Magellanic Cloud, was only about 20 solar masses. The smallest, EBLM J055557AB. When it comes to stars, size does matter. If a star is particularly large, it consumes all of its fuel, leading it to live quickly and die even faster. The slower metabolism of a small, light star, on the other hand, makes it possible for the star to live for a very long time. But how little can a star really be? Well, this star, on the other hand, is right on the edge. This star is just 85 times the mass of Jupiter and a sliver broader than Saturn, putting it on the edge of what it takes to be a star. After discovering the tiny star in 2017, lead author Alexander Bottiger of the University of Cambridge noted in a press statement, our discovery reveals how small stars can be had the star formed with a slightly lower mass, the hydrogen fusion reaction in its core would not have been able to be sustained, and the star would have turned into a brown dwarf. Brown dwarfs are objects that are neither planets nor stars, and their cores can only fuse deuterium, a heavy type of hydrogen, and potentially lithium. An astronomer at the Carnegie Institution for Science who studies the smallest stars says that understanding the boundary between stars and brown dwarfs will help us better understand how both arise and evolve. The hottest star, WR102. The shorter the lifespan of a star, the faster it burns up its fuel. It's also likely that the wolf riot stars fall into this category. In addition to being extremely hot and brilliant, the stellar winds of these stars also dissipate a significant amount of their potential fuel into space. WR102, the hottest known wolf riot star, has a surface temperature 35 times greater than the sun's temperature. The hottest star, WR102, is a WO-type wolf riot, which is a large stage star with a substantially enriched surface in ionized oxygen. Overall, astronomers estimate that there are only approximately 10 WO-type wolf riot stars in the universe. WR-102 possesses strong stellar winds, even for a wolf riot star. They are currently blowing around a sun's worth of mass from the surface of the star every 100,000 years. That means WR-102 loses hundreds of millions of times the mass of the sun per year. Although this may not seem like much for a big star, consider that WR-102 would be completely gone in less than 2 million years if it continued at this rate. But who has the patience to wait so long? Astronomers are interested in WR-102 not only because of its extremely hot surface temperature and rapid mass loss, but also because it is a likely candidate for a supernova in the not-too-distant future. The fastest star, S5 HVS1. In relation to the Milky Way, the Sun travels at a breakneck speed of 490,000 miles per hour. Nothing to brag about here, albeit it is impressively quick. Instead, a speed demon known as S5 HVS1 holds the title of the fastest known star that isn't a white dwarf. The hypervelocity star is exiting our galaxy at a speed of more than 3.9 million miles per hour. That's around 0.6% of the speed of light in comparison. 2019 was the year that astronomers discovered the star in the southern constellation Grus. They were able to trace the object's path back in time and determined that it originated from the Milky Way's center near Sagittarius A, 
our four million solar mass supermassive black hole. We had long assumed that black holes may release stars at extremely high speeds, so this is quite exciting news. It is possible that about five million years ago, the black hole expelled the star at a speed of several thousand kilometers per second. It was at this time that humanity's ancestors were just beginning to learn how to walk on two legs. Although S5 HV S1 is now single, scientists suspect it was not always by itself. According to a theory, the companion star was snatched by the black hole when the stellar pair got too near, releasing it from its binary dance and tossing it through space. It is a sad tale, but at least the S5 HSV1 didn't meet the same death as its partner. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you're still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more high quality videos about space.